All right. So it's obvious we're testing a microphone. So I'm going to be using that microphone for the video. And this is not in the studio. This is just in a basic room with basic protection and the doors open. So it's going to sound different, but I don't think it sounds bad. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubafire. Every once in a while, a company makes some sort of crazy out of the box thing, which makes you say, why? Why would they do this? Who has been asking for this? What is it for? Why do I care? Or do I even care? When I saw the product, I was like, yeah, okay. But then you also saw who made it and I became a little bit more interested. I was not shocked when I realized that this product was realized by Antline Audio. I have used and reviewed other products from Antline Audio. I've always been happy and they've always just been very, very good at doing better than what they claimed. Antline Audio is the company behind the mod mic and the wireless mod mic. The company began in 2011. They're based out of Portland, Oregon. They hit the ground running with a solid reputation with their first mod mic. Gamers had limited options for headphones at the time, either having junk gaming cans with a junk microphone or using a great set of audiophile headphones without a microphone, meaning that you would need a desk or arm mounted microphone. The first mod mic was a magnetically retained boom mic add-on. It sounded like a desk mic and it was removable and it was very small. People on the other end would always say, wow, your microphone sounds great. It had a wire. So a couple years later, they released a super fun wireless version, fully plug and play. And I have that review linked up for you right now. That product I still use attached to the side of my index for VR. With that, I still get desktop microphone sound from my VR playthroughs. Today, we're looking into the Kimura, which is a set of IEMs from Antline Audio. An IEM is short for in-ear monitor. A monitor may not be what you think it is because the word monitor may also be a speaker. Monitor speakers are special in that they do not try to color or tint the recorded sounds. A monitor is flat, meaning it'll represent the sound as it was mixed by the sound engineer. Monitors usually provide a flat curve. And the first observation about the Kimura is that they're quite bass heavy, which is easy to EQ flatter, achieving that monitor sound. Antline never claimed that these were for studio listening, but as a big, big fan of audio gear, I felt that it was important to tell you this right away. I love audio. My studio focuses big time around it, and I take it very seriously. I think about recorded quality. I think about playback quality. Parts of the studio are anechoic, and some parts are isolated. I'm able to record and master audio for my video content, and I would think that I have a good ear when it comes to sound. Parts of the studio are wide open and problematic for streaming, but this can be mostly dealt with with a sound treatment plan. There are studio monitors in the booth, and I recently did something that most would think was very silly. Is it a perfect speaker according to the purists? No. Is it located in an optimal location for optimal sound performance? No. Does it sound crazy clear and provide some of the most immersive sounds I've ever experienced in a video game? Hell yes. And it's very pretty and such a cool signature piece as part of the environment. All of that I say to say that I consider myself a lover and a fan of audio gear. I would say I always have an above average expectation when deciding if something sounds good or not. I'm a sound connoisseur, what we might call an audiophile. A headphone is a great way to control the room because you can mostly attenuate or close out by sealing your ear. The IEM does the same thing but offers some very big advantages. They are much smaller and the general idea is that because the IEM only needs to control the very smallest space in your inner ear, it should be able to be very low power and still retain a big rich sound. The IEM also provides elevated passive noise cancelling because they block the ear like an earplug. We can now manufacture at a microscopic level with reliability and precision, and we've ended up where some IEMs can really rival some of the best headphones. IEMs can sound great, they're small and most appealing, they stay where they are, and they often can be worn without being noticeable. Singers use them on stage because of all of these bonuses. When we were working from home, many invested in better audio quality for our meetings and our spare time. Antline Audio has three new products, just the Kimura Mic standalone for use with your IEMs, the Kimura Solo and the Duo. You can tell the Solo and the Duo apart by their color. The Duo are $50 more and as the name suggests, the Duo has a second driver to flesh out the lower end. The Solos offer a flatter studio sound and the Duos are able to push deeper into the low end. And as I've said, they offer very good sound quality if you're able to EQ the lows out a little bit. Kimura is an IEM with a microphone attached and not just a crappy microphone, not just any microphone. Small and shockingly good at sounding great. IEMs have a stiffer memory wire on each side that helps them hold in place. And this is even more important with that little microphone sticking out. So do they sound good? 
I'm gonna start with gaming. In gaming base is important, and this is where I feel the duos really add to the experience. The explosions, impact, and other sounds came through solid. And these are the sounds that you need to be immersed. Very clear and clean sound is apparent, and more important that the left and right separation is also good. And I'm getting that from the Kimura, and they do it very well. Enemy footsteps can be heard from afar very clearly, even if that space you play in isn't quiet. Sound profile is very personal, and I found that the bigger focus on bass worked good here. The microphone is simply great, but it's quite omnidirectional, so everyone will hear everything where you are. You're gonna hear a little bit more echo. You can probably hear it right now. They will hear your mouse clicks and your keyboard clicks. They're gonna hear an ambulance outside and they will hear the dog barking upstairs. This can be mostly sorted out with a well-tuned noise gate or by simply using push to talk. For music, with minor tuning, they were able to provide me the sound that I wanted, a very good sound experience and a great listening experience, especially when you factor in the very realistic price point. I always use a DAC to connect headphones to my phone, mainly for quality, but also the iPhone ditched the sound port. Thank you, iPhone. The DAC would and should, in theory, provide better signal, but my listening music was still whatever was downloaded from iTunes. So, yeah, and Spotify as well. When I was in the studio, though, I was able to test FLAC through a different DAC. I'm not trying to sound super positive for nothing in this review, but credit where credit is due. I've always been impressed with their products and the price always meant that there was good value in there as well. I actually began my review with fairly high expectations. If they can be good for gaming and sound good for music, then obviously they're gonna take a Teams call or a Zoom call without any issues. It's no shock that the Kimura flat out destroys the AirPod for meetings, but despite them being that good, I don't feel that I'm gonna replace them for my own day-to-day -day use, but this is simply because I move around a lot from place to place. They are 100% part of my portable system for podcasts and content creation. They are 100% something that you should consider as an upgrade or an addition to your gear. I've covered the positives. I have some negatives for you to consider. If you've never used IEMs before, they do take some time getting used to putting them on and taking them off. You are basically sound isolated when wearing them, like wearing earplugs. So if someone is on the bus and wants to talk to you, you need to take one of them out. If you are the type of person who likes to ignore people, this might be a big positive for you. When taking a meeting, people on the other end will comment that your audio quality is high. You might appreciate the fact that they are very small form factor and are basically invisible on your head. And I feel that this is all I wanted to say about the Antline Audio Kimura. I've had a great time testing and I'm going to have a great time using them in the future. Thank you for taking the time to be here. Be good to each other and have a great day.